So I'm going to make a start on Zadie. Um, this is in um, follow-up to the video that I did with Vicky from what Vicky made. And I'm going to start my twirl tonight. So I've cut all the pieces out already, so I'm just ready to go. And I thought it'd be quite nice if I could get the bodice made tonight. That's the plan anyway. So I'm going to start with these front pieces. I've got two front pieces. They're kind of peculiar shapes, actually. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to work straight away on the darts. So down at the bottom here, let me just bend this down a little bit. Um, we've got these two markings. I've put a straight 10 on this, just so you know. And I'm just going to pinch one side there. And I'm just going to pinch it across and take it across to the, the other fold line. And I'm just going to give it a quick pin. And it says just to tack it in place, so I should get that done. I've also got another marking on this piece. This is the right panel just here. And that's just to indicate that um, I need to stop so when I get there to make the hole for the, the belt tie. So it's a one centimetre seam allowance. So I just need to remember that. So it's three eighths of an inch. I'm not used to using that stitch length. We're, uh, we generally use five eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to pop it onto far right needle position. I only want to tap this in place. Oops. Oh dear. Um, far right, and I'm going to do a longer stitch length, and I'm just going to nip with the sewing machine straight across, just to secure it. And now all I'm going to do is repeat that on the other panel piece for the left bodice. And now I've got the um, pair of back pieces, so I'm just going to do the same again. It's got a dart on the bottom, so I'm just going to draw that over and tack that one in place as well. After this, I will need to get the iron out, except I won't get the iron out. So just press that to the sides as well. So that's one done. It's only very quick. It's a long stitch just to secure it so it doesn't move around. And then the same again on the other panel piece. So I should just do that. So those darts or those tucks have been um, put into place now and now we should be ironing these um, towards the side seam which is down here but um, I'm not going to do that like I say. What I'm going to do instead because you know it, it's only the twirl isn't it? I would, I really really would on the final product but I'm just going to really fold that with my fingers. That's quite nice and sharp, that'll be fine. Do the same on the other piece and then we need to sew that back seam together. Now, I guess if I was short of fabric, the important thing to say here is you could actually just do it on one piece and just um, reduce the seam allowance. So I'm just going to the centre back here and I'm going to pin. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to put a pin in there, one at the bottom. And then we're going to sew with a one centimetre seam allowance all the way down. I need to length, shorten my stitch length because this is a, a final row of stitches, if you like, not that basting stitch. And then I need to press the seam open. Now it does say in the instructions to overlock the edges together, but I overlocked in advance and, well, I think it's fine. I'm happy with that. So that's what I'm going to do. So go down on the machine there and reverse to lock it in place and straight the way down. Don't sew over your pins. And remember to secure at the other end with a reverse stitch or a locking stitch. And then press the seam open. Again, I'm going to do this with my fingers. I've just sewn the back together. So it's those two pieces and we've got this join that runs down here. And um, what I'm thinking about doing is just pausing and putting in my um, gold thread that I like to use against the denim. And I'm going to run a row of stitches um, in a 3.5 length on both sides of that, um, that join because I think it looked quite nice. Bear with. Just bringing you in really close here because I want to show you this gold thread as it goes um, 
So we can take it slower if we need to, but I'm just running a row of stitches straight down. Using that centre line as my guide. I'm going to pop the needle down and move across. Oh yeah, I like it. There we go. And there we go. Looks good. And I shall carry on down on the other side now. So now we're ready to join the two front panels to our back piece. I've just laid them over so I can see them in situ. So I know I've definitely got them in the right way. Let me just bend that down so you can see. So I've got one on top of the other. So now I'm just going to flip them over so I can line up these seams here. And then I am going to pin them one at each end and then one in the middle so it doesn't wobble. I'm going to use my one centimetre seam allowance to sew it across. And then I'm kind of abandoning the instructions at this point. What I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to um, press the seam allowances to the backs and then I'm going to run a row of edge stitch down, which I think will look kind of cool. I don't know whether you're supposed to do that. I do not know. I do not care. I mean, I can't really do all this stuff when it comes to doing my final version because it won't really suit or be noticed on that busy black and white fabric. But I think this will look good. So let me pull this back again. And I am just going to go across. Oops. And I'm going to leave the gold thread in now so I'm not too in and for throwing. Go straight across and I shall continue all the way down on both sides. So I've sewn the shoulders together and I'm just going to finger press that seam across again because I still haven't got the iron out. I'm going to have to in a minute though because um, it's nearly time to start working on the binding I think. Quite excited about doing that bit though. I like doing binding. So I'm just using that long 3.5 stitch again. I'm pushing the seam allowance across to the back. I think that'll give it a really nice finish. I could always give it two rows of stitches. I shall have a look in a minute. But let me just show you what this looks like. It's good to put your own sort of touch on things, I think. So there we go. So yeah, so that'll be on the top. Quite nice, I think. I like it. So what I've done now that the shoulders are complete is I've just sewn the side seams together. Just from the bottom of the arm all the way down here. Um, so I'm going to sew that down, but I need to remember on that one side to stop at that point just there. In fact, I'm going to start at that point so I don't mess up and, and miss it all together. I feel like, I don't know if I've, oh, he's under there. I thought I'd lost the marking then, but I've hidden the pin away. That's it. That's all I did. A little panic on for no reason. So there we go. That's going to go in there. Reverse to keep it nice and secure. And I'm just going to work around the arch of the armpit. Reverse on the end, and that's one side all secure. It's come together really, really, really fast so far. It's going to be a catch, I'm sure. So, in a second, I can show you what the front looks like. Obviously I need to turn up the sleeves yet, but I shall probably do that towards the end when the iron's out and things. And I'll slow down a lot for that. So, turn around to show you. There we go. So the bodice does cross over at the front. So what I now need to do is start working on the binding that will go all the way around. I think there's a step in between where I've just got to cross over the front first so it's secure 
and then I attach the binding. But I just need to go back and review the instructions. But uh, yeah, that's the first step done. So I am now on the way.